Hello, Dee. Boss and Patty here. And, well, you know, I'm getting a lot of mileage out of the very few gel prints that I made the other day. And, you know, I kept saying, this one reminded me of something. Hmm. What did this remind me of? Well, the 1959 Barbie doll. Every time I picked this up and looked at it, I was thinking... 1959 Barbie doll. So I got out my 1950s decade memory keeper. And in this journal, I'm just going to put fun stuff that reminds me of the 1950s. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to do a page for Barbie. So come on along. I only have one page in here so far, but I have a whole lot of ideas on what to do. And I did a page on color forms, not necessarily these troll color forms, but just that I loved playing with color forms in the 1950s. What I put on this journal card. Oh, this is my journaling. Yeah, I was remembering that the color forms, when I think they first came out, were basically just shapes. And then you put them together, made your own designs. And then there was, you know, later that we called them the fancier ones, or there's the little girl or little boy, and you dressed them up according to the weather. And that was some fun, simple 1950s play. And I couldn't find an old-fashioned <laughs> color form set, but I did find these little trolls at the Dollar Tree. So I made a little pocket out of them. And yes, these are color forms, see? And there were trolls around, I believe, well, maybe the 60s, but they weren't these trolls. No, but, you know, <laughs> close enough, close enough. So this is going to be a pretty easy page. I'm going to do some journaling on that page, and I, I haven't used this page yet. And I really wanted to put Barbie in here first, but then I went ahead and did the color forms. So I'm going to trim my gel print down to fit the page, but I'm thinking that I want to put something behind these hearts here because the hearts were cut out on the paper. And this is almost like a rainbow. So just about any color would do. Maybe I should go through my scraps and find something maybe sparkly, maybe sparkly paper, something to put in here. Okay, I brought some scraps over here. And looks like some of them have already been die cut. All right, we're not using those right now. Oh, I do have all these solid colors, and that looks like it's big enough to go on there. Oh, but here's a sparkly one. I'll pull out a couple, and we'll see how they look. I don't know, something like that. Match that. Now, it's going to have the pink and black hearts. So maybe something pink. I thought I had some sparkly bits in here. But maybe they're in another, another box. Yeah, so I might have to go find another box of scraps. <laughs> Yeah, no sparkly ones in here. Aha, I found some sparkly paper over on the shelf. So we can see what's in this. This blue is fantastic. Well, these are a lot of little ones in here. I don't want to cut another sheet. I'd prefer to use something I already cut. And that is nice. And blue is my color for the year. <sighs> yes, yeah, so we're going to go with blue. Definitely going to go with this blue. <laughs> mm. 
Yes, I like that, but you know what? I also found this little pink one, and that fits there, too. Now, I know what you're going to say. The pink actually looks better than the blue. Hmm. Well, even though blue is my color, oh. <laughs> I'm going to change it to pink. <laughs> yes. Why am I always changing my mind? Now, I got the idea to do a decade journal from Carol at Crinkled Path. I'll link her channel below. She has some fantastic ideas, let me tell you. And she had done some decade journals, memories, you know, specific to a particular decade. And when I saw this little golden book, Barbie, I was like, ah, oh, I got to do a 1950s. Of course, I had forgotten that Barbie didn't come out until like 1959. So it's a little bit more of a of an early 60s thing. So, yes, so looking good. And now I'm going to put my gel print there. Well, to me, pink is always been a Barbie color and the black stripes remind me of that bathing suit right I'm going to use my premium paper cutter <laughs> from the plastic wrap and I'm going to trim this to fit on the page Now there's no background paper here, so I want to get this to the size of the page. And it, I don't know, I keep seeing bits of black everywhere today. Okay, let me mark this for size and I'll trim it down with my fun trimmer. Use what you have. You don't have to go out and buy everything. Just like that. Okay. This is just sketchbook paper, so I think... I'm going to use mostly glue stick, but I might put just a tiny touch of the white glue around the edge. So I was thinking about, you know, all the journal pages that I haven't done. And I'm looking through, you know, I'm scrolling through all the photos, the 10,000 photos that are on my phone. And I'm like, oh, I really need to do some journal pages to clean off my phone. And I really need to do some of those journal pages. I need to do some, well, we'll call it memory keeping at this point, right? So... Yeah, I've been thinking about it for a couple of days. We took Stanley on a few adventures, and I haven't journaled those yet. And I was like, oh, i got to get to it. And I almost did it today. But when I came in, this was sitting on the table, and I'm like, well, let me just finish up some of these crumbs, and then I'll get out the journals, and I'll, I'll do some journaling, you know, of things. So I can catch up on all that. Great idea, right? <laughs> so I came in and I got on my computer because I wanted to uh, print out a picture of the 1959 Barbie doll. 
And this is exactly what I think of when you say Barbie doll. I picture her in her black and white suit, blonde hair, red lips, earrings, little shoes, little high heels, sunglasses, and for some reason, always this dress and this little pink Barbie book like that. So black and white and pink to me is always Barbie. <laughs> Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. Yes, this is always about the Barbie. So I'm going to glue that photo yet. So this is what happened. <laughs> and I am so bad. I am so bad. Okay. So I went on Google and I, you know, Googled a um, an image of the Barbie doll and this came up and I took a screenshot so I could print it out. Well, the screenshot kept disappearing. I'm like, where's it going? Where's it going? And I couldn't figure out what was going on. And then I realized, oh my gosh, can my computer be absolutely full? <laughs> and it won't even take one more image. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. So I went to the about section in my computer, right? And it was <laughs> loaded to the top. Yes, I had filled up my computer. I filled up my computer. Now, I do, I make videos and I save my videos, but I take them off the computer and I put them on a hard drive. Well, I'm on my third hard drive. <laughs> yes, I'm on my third hard drive. But, you know, so I don't keep everything on my computer, but like I said, um, I have a lot of things I haven't journaled about. So all of that is still on my computer. And I think I did mention at one point that I, I had filled up my, um, my iMovie program too with images that I, I hadn't used yet. For some reason I put them into the iMovie program but hadn't gotten around to journaling with it, making the video and then taking them off. So I got out my hard drive and I downloaded some things Let's just place Barbie there. And I didn't want to cover up these hearts, but I have to journal. So let me think about this for a second. I found a couple little pieces of this black sketchbook paper. So I got out my white Signo Uniball pen. And I did a tiny bit of journaling. I want to journal some more about the Barbie doll, but I thought this would be a start. When someone says Barbie, this iconic 1959 version, which I actually had, pops into my mind. My doll was passed down to the younger sisters and eventually lost track of. So I'm going to glue that there. I was waiting for this gel pen ink to dry. And I'm looking at this picture and I'm like, I had this sudden urge to get out some black lace. <laughs> yeah, so... What do you think we doll up her picture with some black lace? I'm just looking at this dress and I'm thinking, I want to trim the picture. Yes, like that. Oh, so anyway, so yeah, I cleaned some files off of my computer. I put them on the hard drive and I went back and now I have just a little bit of space, <laughs> not a lot, just a little bit of space on my computer. And hopefully I can get this video made. And then, yeah, I'm going to have to see what I can do about making more space or making more videos or using up what I already have on there so I could take it off. I will try. <laughs> I will try. I think I'll make these the same size. Yeah, so that was quite a dilemma. 
not even enough space <laughs> to add one more thing. I think I must have downloaded a very large file for something. And I didn't have much room to begin with, but that kind of used up all the space that I had. Now, have you ever done that? <laughs> have you ever filled up your computer? You know, I have to laugh because when I go to buy a computer or a hard drive, which is the front, I think this is the front. The guy at the computer store is always like, oh, you'll never fill this up. <laughs> I'm like, I always do. I always do. And like I said, I do put things on a hard drive. Oh, you know what? So I do the sides first or the top and the bottom. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the top and bottom and then rethink the size of the sides because this is going to take up some of the room. I actually remember going to this little variety store on Main Street in Ansonia, Connecticut and buying little Barbie clothes and accessories. And they were pretty cheap back then. I know I'm going to get this on wrong, but we're going to go with it. And the little store was called Maze, M-A-Y-S, Maze, in Ansonia, Connecticut. And I don't know why this sticks in my mind, but I'm thinking you go in the store and you take a right, like the register was on the left, and you go over to the right, and the doll things are right back there, and they carried, you know, these Barbie the Barbie clothes and little accessories. You can get like a little pack of shoes or something like that. It wasn't very expensive. And then I remember I would get like halfway home and then like stop, take a rest because we always walked everywhere we went on the steps of the Polish falconry. You know, which is like a club, like the Elks or the Moose or something like that. And, yeah, it was on the way home. And I would stop on the steps and I would open up the package and look at what I bought. And it was very close to, I think it was St. Joe's Church. St. Joe's Church, yeah. Which was a Polish Catholic church. Now, should I have cut that so it didn't have that gap like that? Or is that okay? Hmm. What do you think about that? Or should I have cut it so that it went like this? Well, I could. I could adjust it and add a little piece there. Yeah, I think that's better. And now all I have to do is add a little piece up there and we'll be good. And there's my bird clock. Been pretty consistent with the morning dove o'clock lately. Oops, <laughs> wrong piece. I know this whole thing is calling out for a little touch of pink bling. I know it is. I know it is. All right, so I'm going to get this part glued down. And the bling bling happens to be sitting on the floor next to my foot because I haven't put it away yet <laughs> from the other day when I had it out. Oh, I love that. I love that. Look at that. I mean, that is like perfect, is it not? Possum perfect. I'm thinking about maybe just putting one of these in each corner. And let's see how that would look. 
I love it. I love it. Well, I have not seen the new Barbie movie yet. You can give me, oops, <laughs> you can give me a little critique or review below if you've seen it. Although folks do like different things. But you know me pretty well, so <laughs> you can probably let me know if you think I'd like it or not. Well, this is turning out a lot fancier than I thought it would. I cut off the little one that was on the end. <laughs> I don't know, I'm thinking about sticking it in this little space right here. Well, there we go. I just need to go get some of this glue off of my fingers. That was a lot of fun remembering my very first Barbie doll. And I love how this little page came out in my 1950s Decade Memory Keeper. So if you want to make any comments about Barbie or the Barbie movie, please do so below. I would love to read them. And yes, now I have to totally rethink tomorrow's journaling sesh because I really need to clean some things off my computer. Well, thanks for coming along today and happy junk journaling. Bye-bye.